Hi, this is Matthew Campagna from the TurningGate.net, and I'd like to tell you about TTG Viewport Sizer. I'm here in Lightroom's web module. I'm going to go up to my engines list and load the Viewport Sizer. And this is what I get. It's a blank web preview with a couple of numbers. There are no options, and if I hit export, you're going to get an empty folder. What this thing does, uh, if you watch those numbers, when I resize my application, they change. And what they're doing is measuring the size of this preview viewport. So the width and the height is what these numbers represent. And at this point, you're probably wondering, why should you care? Why are the width and height important? And I'm going to tell you. Um, so this, say we have a web page. And on this page, we have a stage for a flash gallery. Um, maybe I'm going to make a simple viewer gallery and put that in this black box. It doesn't have to be simple viewer. It can be any flash gallery. Um, now I know that this stage is 900 pixels wide by 600 pixels tall. So I'm gonna go back into Lightroom, load up simple viewer, and like I said again, it doesn't need to be simple viewer. It can be any flash gallery you wanna use. Slideshow Pro, Mono Slideshow, Auto Viewer, whatever. Um, the fundamental problem is the same, and that is that when Lightroom displays flash galleries, they occupy 100% of the viewport. And it doesn't matter how big the viewport is. Right now, my viewport is huge, and that gallery is a lot bigger than 900 pixels by 600 pixels. And so it's difficult to get a sense of what this gallery is going to look like at its final size. Now the answer to this problem is TTG Viewport Sizer. And uh, I'm going to show you that. But before I do, this just very quickly um, find the columns. I'm going to crank, or the rows rather, I'm going to crank the rows up to eight. Now, you know, right now this gallery is really big. And you can see that at eight rows, all of my thumbnails are fitting. There's plenty of space. It's totally fine. But what happens when I take this gallery and I put it on that web page in that 900 pixel by 600 pixel box? Let's find out. I load up TTG Viewport Sizer and I scale this back until those numbers match the size of that box. So I'm going to be putting this into a box that is 900 pixels wide by 600 pixels tall. And once you get in the neighborhood, you're just going to have to be careful and push this thing around just a little bit. There we go, 900 by 600. So now I can go back and load that simple viewer gallery again. And once more, let's crank those rows up to eight. And immediately you can see this is not going to work. Uh, the thumbnails are getting cut off at the top. They're getting cut off at the bottom. This is a problem. So. I'm going to scale this back to, uh, we'll say six rows, see how that fits. Everything's getting in there pretty nicely. Uh, it's still feeling a little cramped though. I'm going to take this back to four. So already you can see how TTG Viewport Sizer is helping us with the final layout of our gallery. Um, that's looking pretty good. I like the amount of space I've got. I'm going to get rid of this description. Um, I think the vertical orientation image is looking good. Let's check out a landscape. At 900 pixels wide for this entire gallery, I think my landscape is feeling a little bit cramped. So I'm going to take the thumbnail columns, take those back to two, just to give that landscape oriented image a bit more space. And I think that's pretty nice. So at this point, I am ready to export this gallery, which I've already done. Uh, to save some time. It's sitting here on the desktop, so I'm just going to drop that into my stage folder. Go back to my web page, load that guy up, and as you can see, the layout works perfectly because we already saw in Lightroom what it was going to look like at 900 pixels by 600 pixels wide. So that's TTG Viewport Sizer and how it can help you. Uh, TTG Viewport Sizer is a free download from the turninggate.net so go and get it. Thanks for listening.